Hello and welcome to Present Times on Linux. Um, today I'm going to look at the right click menu for Trinity. Okay, without further ado, when you right click Trinity, you can have this kind of setup. This is the default setup. There are others which we'll go to later, maybe. So we can create new folder. We can have a new text file, HTML file, a link to a location, a URL, a link to an application, a link to device. Well, we can put a device right on our desktop there. We have the run command. Run command does exactly what it says on the box. So you can run, uh, say, console. Uh, brings up the console and so on. We can also open the terminal without using the run command, of course, which is control and key. We can paste clipboard contents to the desktop, and we can sort the uh, icons here by different types and size and so on, and by date or directories first, whichever suits your boots. And we can line it to a grid and we can lock them in place. You can see I have a gap there, it used to be where concrete used to be, uh, concert. caffeine, I'll get it right. Caffeine used to be, and uh, I've since uninstalled caffeine because I was doing an open box kind of thing. In Windows, we can cascade and uncluster the windows. If you have many windows open at the same time, we can refresh and we can configure. And of course, we can log it myself out or lock the screen. If we go to configure desktop, from here we can change the backgrounds and so on. As you probably already know, like so. Now we can position it, scale it, and have single color, no blend, and so on. And we can change the colors if you're not into that and you want it more of a teal color. That's also okay. Alright, so it's our fourth. Under behavior. We can show or not show the desktops, icon desktops, which you can see as made poof, no desktop. We can show allow programs in the desktop window. We can show tool tips. We can have menu bar at the top of screen. We can have menu bar in a Mac OX X style. If I apply that, we can see I have a new panel on top. And if we go to say, oh, I don't know, uh, pick a folder, my documents will do, I don't think there's anything in there, no, just all the kind of stuff I do. And as you can see, instead of having the as my Vico screen, I've clicked on the wrong window there, there we go. Um, Instead of having the menu bar here for location on file and so on, it comes up here a la Mac OS. So that's rather cool as well. Uh, we'll apply to none. We can have a desktop menu bar as well, which is the desktop menu bar for the, as you can see, it's pretty much. What I see here is now up here. Rather cool, huh? Anyway, I, I don't choose to have an up there. We could also choose the mouse button actions for the desktop. Left button does nothing at all, but we can bring up a desktop menu, application menu. So if we click application menu, just for instance, and I left click the desktop, you can see here I have now the menu system for Trinity. Uh, or we can do a menu window list or we can do a desktop menu which I apply will be more or less the same one as the right click menu now. As you can see the right click menu down here does say. So we'll change that to no action again. Oh we can use custom menus and a book main menu etc etc or window list menu, we can also do that, which is middle button anyway, I know, but as you can see, we can unclutter windows and cascade windows, and see what's running there, oops, wrong one, Ali, so we can do that, 
we can also do our multiple desktops at the moment I have four multiple desktops if I want more multiple desktops I can up to 20 and I can rename them um, I don't know uh, uh, wind water air just like so um, we can take that down to the four again and we have different desktop sport wind rain you can see as I hover over because like earth wind water and air rather cool uh, we can also do our screen saver from here and we can just go through the screen saver that I have installed if I really need to I do not know what binary ring is how binary ring is that Rather cool. I won't be doing none of that. And here we can do the screen size and orientation. We can flip the screen, mirror it, and we can apply it at setup. And we can choose our resolutions from here as well, from 640 by 360, which is kind of strange, up to my native resolution of 1080 there. Uh, you can also do the refresh rates if the monitor allows and we can do the power control. I have my power management turned off because I don't like my screen blanking on me when I'm doing things. But anyway, that's a quick look at the re right click menu setup of Trinity. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, put your thumbs up. If you didn't, Put your thumbs down and please subscribe and I would like to thank uh, Red Robo Linux for Patreon and uh, Michael Swanson who generously has laid out some cash as well and a shout out to uh, Silent Robot also for his generosity also um, I say also a lot because it's also good <laughs> okay have fun Hope you learned something and have a very pleasant Sunday or whichever day you are viewing this and I hope to see you again soon. You take care.